time I had to make this video. Man, I know this video has to get put out now. I know it because there's so much things stopping me from producing this video. I tried to make it one time and my alarm clock went off. I tried to do it another time and my phone tripped out. Guys, the art of fasting and the importance of fasting. Give me one second while I get my keys here. Hello. Hey, my name's Brady. Brady, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, my friend. You have a good morning, okay? Take care. Bye. Take care. So, <laughs> the art of fasting, come on, it's so important. Listen, brothers and sisters, we are filled with uh, random particles and chemicals that are in our food that are distorting us and making us disgusting fat and, and not the way that god designed us to be god designed us to be strong lean fit healthy and that's why i'm a personal trainer because our natural design is not this design of obesity of course and if you are that don't be sad about that you know we all have different parts of the journey but you see what fasting does fasting allows you to wake up it's a gift from god and now that I'm pursuing it and I, 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 I'm trying to do the best that I can, I pray that I'm not mocking Jesus, who was the first, one of the first examples of fasting from a biblical standpoint, um, uh, and one of the greatest, I would say. Um, fasting, you know, and I, I really, truly pray that don't do anything to mock God. You gotta remember, Jesus was the personification and the human embodiment of the living God, right? From the scripture. So for you to mock God or for you to try to mimic God and think that you get the same results is ridiculous. But I'm just trying to find my way to set an example. He did it for 40 days, 40 nights with no food or no water, right? I believe. Um, so it's wild to think that I could be something that could copy God. But you see, I'm going to tell you exactly the benefits that I'm going to uh, note from fasting. There's two aspects, three aspects, really mental, spiritual and physical. So for the physiology aspect for because I'm a personal trainer, right? Your body will go through an insane stage where it'll become catabolic and it'll start to eat the muscles and the fats that are within your body. Your body is in a stage when you're fasting where it's started to question and say, hey, I'm not getting energy anymore. What's going on? So what will happen is your body will question you. Your body will fight you. And by the third or fourth day, your body will understand what's going on. It'll start to begin to chew what is in, within the own body, right? So if you have excessive fat and you can find the energy to do this, drink water and go for a dry fast. It'll help you eliminate a lot of the toxins and the negative fats that are within your body. Now, of course, seek a physician before you do anything that, that you, uh, you must, right? But this is just from my experience. Next, from a spiritual perspective, it, fasting makes you weak. Fasting makes you not angry. It doesn't, it doesn't make you bitter. It doesn't make you envious. It makes you very calm and peaceful. Uh, fasting makes you aware of things fasting makes you kind and gentle and from a spiritual perspective that's very important right because that's the natural state of our souls very peaceful very light very calm but when we fill ourselves with alcohol and weed and drinking and all this stuff in the foods we start to have so much different energies and and different things going on through us right that we get distorted but fasting brings us back to baseline right hungry starving needy right and that although you don't want to be there you want to be somewhere healthy right it's a good thing to practice this every now and then because it reminds you that food isn't always the answer i was eating the most amazing food right i was eating everything i've ever wanted right but when i started to fast is when i started to find answers and i started to realize i'm, I'm better off alone i'm good on my own but when I'm eating food and I'm doing a lot, I need other people. I want to just go and lust. I want to go do this. I want to go do that. But when you fast and you say no more alcohol, no more smoking, no more none of that, I just need God. I just need to find a way to get through this. I need to find, I need, I need to find answers right now. That's when the fasting will show you think answers that no human being has ever given you. So, and you can only do it for yourself. And I'm not telling you to starve yourself, right? This is a practice that has been practiced through ages and generations of people so listen I don't have all the answers I'm just one man trying to figure it all out but 
I love God so much. I love finding answers and I love physiology. He knows me and a lot of my friends know me. This is what I love. Um, I love fitness. I love personal training. I love getting stronger. I love finding answers. And what I can tell you is that this practice, it, it gives you answers and everybody's answers are different. I'm trying my best to stay through it for as long as I can, but I hope that in both of our practices as we practice this, that God hears our hearts. That we're not doing wrong things during this time, stealing and robbing and murdering and going to clubs. But during this time that we're fasting, that we're back to the baseline and we're reconditioning ourselves to get clean, get sober, get righteous, right? Eliminate bad habits, eliminate negative thinking, right? And I wanted to go into that negative thinking, Men uh, the mental. Maybe many of you are going through a season where you're very confused. You don't know what's going on with your head. Maybe you're just, you're everywhere, you know, and you need some clarity, right? Imagine a watery ocean and, or like a, not a watery, oh, that's a terrible way to describe it. Imagine a rough ocean, um, a tidal wave and just the seas churning and, and, and yearning and, and just uh, tornadoes and just rough waters and whirlpools and this state of cat cat uh catastrophe right is your mind just excuse me just everywhere fasting allows all of that to become still so while you were at first in the middle of a wave and you were in this ocean and you had no answers for how to get out fasting puts everything still and you're still in still water and allows you to be still and allows you to sit still and appreciate that stillness. And that's the beauty of fasting. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's very hard, right? It's very hard. I wish it wasn't this hard, you know, because bro, brother or sister that's watching this video, man, I have a hard time with it. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> personally, I'm a kinesthetic person. I'm a hands-on person. Um, I'm a person that likes to experience things. So when I'm doing this, it's like I'm taking away everything that I'm naturally uh, naturally doing. And I know it's hard for everybody. It's not just hard for me. We're all equal in that. But the answers and my will to please God is so strong that I'm willing to go through it. And even then, I have to deny so much. Because you never know. Suddenly, all of a sudden, someone might give you a treat and you eat it. And you're like, oh, wait, I was on day three. And then, you know, it's hard. It's hard to keep on track. But no matter what, I hope we push right, to see the benefits of it, right, um, and to, to find the answers, you know, <sighs> that's it, that's all I, that's all I really had, you know, the powers of fasting, the enemy tried to stop this video from being promoted three times, you see, but I was saying this right before, praise the king of all kings, praise Jesus Christ, because at first, you know, uh, the devil might think that I'm mocking Jesus. You guys might think that I'm mocking Jesus by following him. But Jesus said the, he's the greatest leader in human history. He set the example. And all I'm trying to do is follow a great leader, right? That's all I'm trying to do, right? With Christ's work, with all of my work, I'm trying to follow the works of Jesus. And he made it through 40 days and 40 nights. I don't know how he was able to do it. He's a, he's a miracle man, you know? Uh, a, a, a king, a, a, a being of divine power. And I'm just trying to sit under the throne and just trying to learn, you know, really, you know, I'm just trying to learn how he was able to do what he's able to do. He denied his flesh. He didn't have sex. He didn't chase money. He didn't need people's opinions. He didn't need to have people surrounding him. He went to wars and he didn't fight. He won battles and he didn't even punch. They killed him and he didn't even fight back. He just took, stood there and took it. He's the ultimate man. He fed 5,000 and 3,000 people. He walked on water, bro. He was able to do the unthinkable. Right? He healed the sick. Right? That's the power of that of, 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 of Christ's story. Right? And now whether you believe it's a story or not, that's up for you to believe. But just think about it. We follow celebrities who are human beings. Right? They get tattoos. They get into fights. They slap each other up. Right, they uh, hook up with each other. They they're just celebrities, or they're human beings that have been put in positions for them to be worshipped. But the the celebrity that I'm talking about right now, Jesus of Nazareth, 
he has done things that are unthinkable on this earth. And fasting was a part of his journey. That's the reason why it's in the Bible, right? And I want to make a separate video. <laughs> it's crazy how many videos I'm pro uh, producing today. Um, truly, I, I, I want to have a great following on YouTube, but I was doing it for the wrong reason. I was doing it because I wanted to make money and I wanted to have a following count. Truly, now it's just to grow my ministry and to grow my, grow my, my outreach and to become a better leader myself. Um, that's really it, to become a better leader and not to become a leader of a clan or a cult. No, it's to become a better steward for the workings of Jesus so that Jesus might work through me to speak to y'all, you know? And my goals and my purpose and my plan is not done. You know, I will be a great personal trainer. I will be able to show you guys in the physical realm that I'm a, a man of greatness, right? But through all of it, through all my desires to be ambitious, through all my desires to be uh, the best of the best, the first thing that you must remember is that I'm a man and a servant and a follower of Jesus Christ. And I try my best and I fail a lot, but I still stand firm and I go back to the root core. And that doesn't make me some Jesus freak. I am a regular human being who wants to do the right thing. That's what being a Christian is all about. Being, doing the right thing. Not cheating, stealing, murdering, coveting, or whatever. No, it's not about uh, making you a blind cult worshiper. No, the, Christ, the gospel of Christianity makes you aware of what's wrong in this world. Shows you that it's wrong to uh, sleep with the same sex. That it's wrong to do these things, right? To endorse alcohol and cigarettes and tobacco. And it shows you the right way to do things. And it's to be strong, patient, kind, and of strong moral compass. That's why I do what I do. But to go back to fasting. I love each and one, every one of y'all. It's a hard practice. And I'm going to be truthful with you. And as I pursue it myself, I want people to be aware of it. But I want to tell you that there's answers with fasting. You know? And physiologically, spiritually, and mentally, there are benefits. And I hope that... This, fun, this video finds you well while you pursue them. With that being said, y'all, I am out. Peace and blessings, y'all.